Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use R and ggplot to summarize three categorical variables with a faceted bar chart. So, if you haven't used R very much, I will tell you how I would get data in. There's many other ways you can do that. My first line here is my data equal read.csv, and in parentheses and quotes, I have the name of a data set, titanic.csv, which I have saved into a folder uh, called data. So bef before I execute that line, I'm going to go up here to session, and I'm going to go to set working directory and choose directory. And you can see I have desktop data already selected. That's the folder that it has it. So I'm going to select that folder. Once I have that set folder set right, and that's where my data at, I'm going to go to that line and just hit run. Um, if, you, if you just, if you, if you have the defaults set up on R, these windows on the left hand side might be reversed. I'm in the uh, source window where I'm doing my typing and then the console is at the top. Uh, I'm going to attach that data and then there's the names of the data set. Um, I've been doing some other things with this data, so don't worry about those things right there. They're really not going to affect anything where it says you know, items are masked and all of that. I'm going to require ggplot2 within R. There are packages that you need to be able to do things that aren't default. Um, if you don't have that uh, package in there, you'll have to go over to packages and install. You just type the name of the package, in this case ggplot2 and install it, and it'll install it for you. That's a one-time thing uh, on, on your machine. Then when you want to use it, you will have to do require ggplot2. And I'm going, also going to require something called ggthemes, and more about that in just a moment. So anyway, you can see here the names in the data set are class, age, sex, and survived. And so what I'm going to do with ggplot, I'm going to say data, use my data, and then the aesthetics here, X is survived. So I want to know about survival rate. And then I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to use bar. So that's geo and bar. Status is going to be the count. And we've got one extra comma in there that I don't think I need. And the position thing here just uh, takes you away, makes you have a side-by-side -side bar chart, which I prefer. And then uh, this facet grid, I'm going to take my, bar chart of survival and put it in a grid of five different class uh, bird things on the uh, on the Titanic and by the sex of the uh, people on the Titanic. And here's what all of that will do. Now what I have is survived, yes or no. Here's third class and female and here is crew and male, and you can go across here, and obviously you can see that males were more likely to um, not survive than females overall. But you could also look at things and say, like, okay, but if it was someone in the third class, as compared to other classes, females had a pretty good chance of dying if they were in third class. And so you can look through this and uh, and look at different uh, uh, possibilities of how things, how the survival rate was affected by both. Uh, uh, by gender and by uh, where they were birthed, crew, first, second, or third class. And in this one I did class by sex, and this one, and the next one I'm going to do fill is equal to sex. So I'm going to do that by color, and then just my facet just by class. Then you have to put tilde period to indicate you're not going to, uh, it's only going to go by one factor, and that'll look like this. Now you just have and all that, and you can see male and female by color. So just another option that you can use there. And depending on where you're publishing or whatever, and this is where the themes come in, and there's a bunch of them, I've added a statement here, theme underscore BW, open and close parenthesis. You can only use these if you've loaded, installed and loaded the package GG themes. But anyway, that's just controlling the looks of the thing a little bit. Um, and there are other things you can do. For example, if you're familiar with uh, Ed Tufte's work, you can use his, I think. There were some updates last year. 
Okay, good. Some of the things with his weren't working with the latest update, but uh, but this is, and you can do others as well. And I'll let that be an exercise you can look up on the web about uh, GG themes. But anyway, there's just a quick video on how to summarize three categorical variables, in this case, survival, gender, and birthing um, on the US, on, on the uh, on the Titanic.